What's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at AOSP 9.0 Pi source build ROM for our OnePlus 5. Now this video also makes it for the dumpling the OnePlus 5T and these builds are actually available for almost all the devices which were in part of semi GSI Android P port. Well this is nothing special but if you are a developer and if you want to test out your apps on Android 9.0 Pi based and if you have one OnePlus 5 laying around you can surely try this but as this is a source build it comes with some device specific features. Well this is not a custom ROM this is pure AOSP. Android open source project so it literally has nothing but for the oneplus fly it now has the alert slider and all the stuff working so let's just take a look first of all those who haven't checked android pi at all it's basically based on android 9 the 10th anniversary of android and if you take a look at the quick settings panel as you can see it's completely new you have circular toggles and yes oxygen os also now looks like this on android pi so yeah taking cues over there then again we have normal set of apps as you can see it's completely stock so nothing new here even though if you go to the camera it only has video recording and the normal shots it doesn't even have panoramas and then again if you talk about hardware device specific features yes everything is working like literally the fingerprint scanner to the camera to the alert slider every single thing on the phone is actually working well if you talk about the volte incoming calls definitely work yes <laughs> if you buy a sim technically it should work but outgoing calls are kind of a bit messed up right now. It's just the thing with Android Pie. But it will be fixed in the near future, about a week or so, along with the setup and package installer. So if that's possible, I will leave a link in the description for that, surely. But let's just take a look at the settings. You will get something similar to this into the official update too. But let's just take a look at the battery. You have normal stuff, but it's kind of boring that even if you go to the battery manager, you don't have those sexy animations like Pixel XL ports. Yeah, that's kind of the thing with that. And I didn't make any kind of Pixel XL port video for this cause. The Volte again, it's not fixed. And even though I try my best to make those videos as stable as possible, everyone just complains. So yeah, I just didn't make it for the OnePlus 5. If you go to the display, nothing special over here. If you go to the advanced, now you get option for device theme. Yes, this is something you would find in Lineage OS, which is a custom ROM, but now it's just there. You can turn your status bar dark or the launcher. As you can see, pretty cool. Then you have some VR options. Ambient display definitely works. Tap to wake again works. As you can see, one, two. There you go. Fingerprint scanner, pretty fast. You do get OnePlus gestures and Allen Stider over here, which you don't find into the Pixel XL ports because this is a source build for OnePlus 5 again. So let's just take a look at the gestures again. Oxygen OS gestures completely ported over here. So for camera, draw a circle. There you go. It is a bit delayed but still works. Again, it's pretty secure. So tap your fingerprint scanner. There you go. You have your normal options too. So let's just take a look at the alert slider. Again, pretty much same the features, but it doesn't have any kind of cool animation as Oxygen OS, whether it tells you, but you can actually make it through the status bar because it definitely shows over there. Going to the system, about phone, Android version 9. I still don't know why it doesn't say Android 9.0. Just pretty weird. But let's just open it. There you go. There is the Easter egg. Looks pretty trippy and cool on this AMOLED panel. And then we have the reset touch panel. Yes, the pretty cool thing about this is you can copy a thing from over here and just paste it anywhere you like, which is pretty cool when compared to the iOS live reset touch panel. That's again amazing too on a hardware standpoint. And then again, if you want to actually install this ROM, it's pretty simple. You have to unlock your bootloader, install a custom recovery. If you have not already upgraded to the Oxygen OS 5.1.4 or 5.1.5, you can always install firmware. If you have already updated, no need of that. Just straight ahead, go to the ROM. Flash it. Well, like over here, just don't add G apps as if right now. Yes. Boot the ROM. Then again, use the ROM for two to three minutes, then flash the G apps and you will get a completely bug free experience. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the AOSP 9.0 build for OnePlus 5. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one. Peace.